Through the help of amateur radio volunteers and the crew on the ISS, we soon hope to establish radio contact with the International Space Station as it flies more than 350 kilometres above the Earth over Hawaii. This is all accomplished with ARIS, which is Amateur Radio on the International Space Station. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is AH6NM in Honolulu calling for a scheduled contact. Do you copy? Over. What was the first feeling you had when you heard you were going up to space? Over. Yeah, I was very happy and uh, felt so lucky. And uh, that was a long time ago. And I couldn't have believed to find out that I was selected as an astronaut candidate in the back after a year long. When, when an astronaut gets ill, over. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, astronauts and cosmonauts go through uh, medical emergency training and medication on board the ISS. And uh, we also have uh, a system of ground that is like a system of ground. This is Nicole oh. Dory. Other than family, what do you miss most? Over.
Steve, you are really rewarding for me to work in a human space program with uh, many dedicated people from around the world, astronauts, cosmonauts, engineers, and scientists, and I really enjoy that. Over. Hi, this is Elliot West. How do you get back to Earth in an emergency? Over. Elliot, this question. Uh, in case of an emergency, we will use for you spacecraft as a lifeboat. We can be back on the ground or on the ocean in a few hours in case of emergency. Over. Hi, this is Mitchell. How do you communicate with radio fouls? Yeah, this is a good question. We have redundant communication systems on the ISS. We have S band system, KU band system, VHF system. And we have this ham radio system as well. So we will be able to use these redundant systems, backup systems, until we recover our failed over. Hi, this is Tarani Tamodar. How can you tell what's happening in countries around the world? Over. Tarani, we have uh, two news programs uplink on a daily basis to the city. And we have internet access over. That's how we uh, find out what's going on the ground. Over. Hi, this is James Beasy, and how does it feel to float around? Does it make you feel sick or happy? Over. Again, the floating in space is a lot of fun. You can fly through the modules, uh, like dolphins, when they're in the ocean. It's really easy to fly, and you can uh, fly like a dream. That's not making you sick at all. Over. Hi, this is Bradley Lexus asking James Saw's question. Do you run a tight schedule? Do you get free time? Over. Okay, the uh, space station's about to go out of range. This would be a good time to say goodbye. Thanks very much, and, uh, and uh, thanks, Koichi. And uh, Rev, back to you, Shane. Okay, Mike, do you want to close off? Yeah, this concludes the uh, Telebridge contact with the ISS. Uh, great job, you guys, down there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we shared a moment of history. Amateur radio station, Alpha Hotel 6, November Mike, operated by Mike Scott, November 6, Gulf Oscar Zulu, contacted astronaut Koichi Wakata, KC5ZTA, aboard the International Space Station, who spoke with members of the Australian Air League, South Australian Wing. Now for the international volunteer team of ARIS, including the amateur radio satellite corporations around the world, the American Radio Relay League, the Canadian Space Agency, the European Space Agency, the Japanese Space Agency, Roscosmos, and NASA. This is Shane Lind, amateur radio operator VK4KHZ in Glendon, Queensland, Australia. Sending my greetings to you all in amateur radio terms 73s which means best wishes. Excellent job, guys, and... Uh